Every day, Flight Radar 24 tracks thousands of flights around the world. But how do we keep track of them so precisely, particularly when an aircraft is older and perhaps doesn't have ADS-B capabilities? One answer lies in a technique called multilateration, or MLAT. We developed MLAT in an effort to track additional flights. For our purposes, MLAT requires four receivers in a particular region to receive a signal emitted by an aircraft. We then measure the time difference of arrival, or the time it takes a signal from an aircraft to reach a receiver. By comparing how long these signals take to reach each of the four receivers, we're then able to determine the aircraft's position and speed. MLAT position calculations have a general accuracy of 10 to 100 meters. However, one limitation of the technology is tracking aircraft at low altitude. The lowest usable MLAT altitude in most locations is between 5,000 to 10,000 feet. Below that altitude, the probability that four receivers can obtain a signal from an aircraft decreases. MLAT technology also helps in situations where GPS jamming or spoofing occurs. This is because in areas where jamming or spoofing is present, aircraft will either stop transmitting ADS-B completely or will transmit invalid data. With MLAT, we're still able to garner usable flight tracking data without having to rely on GPS data. As the Flight Radar 24 receiver network continues to grow, MLAT coverage also increases. MLAT will therefore continue to play a crucial role in enhancing flight tracking capabilities and help to ensure safe and efficient aircraft operations.